Hello there, my name's uh, Dr. Sunday, one of the junior doctors. Uh, can I get your name? It's Mike. It's Mike, and, and what's your date of birth, Mike? It's 31st of August, 66. Okay. Uh, Mike, I've been asked to examine your, what we call your GI system, so that would involve sort of having a look at your hands, uh, we'll have a look at your face, have a look inside your mouth, we'll have a look at your tummy, uh, feel your tummy, gently sort of tap on your tummy and have a listen to your tummy as, that, as well. Would that be okay? Okay. That's great. So I'm just going to go and get some hands washed and then I'll come back in and, and we'll start. Okay. Okay, good. So we're just looking at uh, Mike from around the bed. Can't see anything of note, any sort of catheters or um, anything else that would be of note. Good. Um, Mike looks relatively comfortable. Are you in any pain at all, Mike? No. Okay, that's good. Uh, okay, Mike, so uh, what I'd like you to do is just place your hands out for me and I'll just have a look at your nails. Um, can't see any obvious sort of hemorrhages or any obvious cyanosis or clubbing. Good. Mike, can you just copy what I'm doing here and try and bring these two nail beds together? From this angle, you can see what the patient is being asked to do and the doctor is trying to look for any evidence of clubbing. The doctor is having a good look at the hands and the nails, looking for any leukonychia, colonychia, checking the palmar creases and looking for any palmar erythema as well as spider nevi. That good. Okay, Mike, so just place your hands outstretched like this and just bend them back for me. Looking for the hepatic flap of the liver failure. I can't see anything there. I'd leave want to hold that for about 30 to 60 seconds. Good, okay. And just rest it down for me, Mike, and I'll have a feel of your pulse as well. Good, okay, and we'll check the blood pressure at the end of the examination. Okay, Mike, so just gonna get you to look up at the ceiling for me. I'm just gonna have a look at your eyes. And no obvious jaundice, good. Uh, just open your mouth for me, Mike. Um, okay, looks okay there. Dentation looks normal. Okay, just pop your tongue out for me, Mike, good. No obvious tongue problems there, which is good. Can't see any obvious jaundice. Mike, I'm gonna have a feel of the glands around your neck, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna stand behind. Um, so, submental, submandibular, okay, and preauricular, postauricular. Feel the occipital gland here. Going down to the anterior cervical chain, posterior cervical chain, feeding for what we call the Verco's node, just in the supraclavicular area. Good, that feels okay. Uh, Mike, for the next part of the examination, I'm gonna have to lie you flat. Would, would that be okay? Okay. Good, so just get yourself forward for me. And I'm just gonna lower you gently back. Okay, Mike, just lie back for me, that's great. Okay, um, Okay. so Mike looks relatively comfortable. Again, there's no obvious jaundice. They're looking for any obvious surgical scars, any obvious asymmetry, any obvious fluid. Um, can't see any obvious scars anywhere, can't see any ascites. There's no pulsations or peristalsis. Okay, that's good. Uh, Mike, I'm gonna gently have a feel of your tummy. Are you not in any pain in your tummy at the moment? No. Okay, so if he was, I'd start away from the pain, so it's just light palpation of the nine areas, looking at the patient while you do that. Okay, good, and now deep palpation. Okay. Okay, now palpation for the liver. Uh, just take some nice deep breaths in and out for me, Mike. Okay, and just feeling on inspiration, and again. And again, good. And then for the spleen. Good, okay. I might just take a nice big breath in for me and then just breathe out and hold. Good, uh, take a nice big breath in for me and then just breathe out and hold. Good, okay, just feeling for the aorta. Good, and then the bladder. Doesn't feel distended, good. So the doctor is feeling just above the umbilicus and feeling with both fingers for an expansile mass, which would indicate an aortic aneurysm. Good. Mike, I'm gently just going to tap on your tummy, okay? So let me know if you get any discomfort. So we're going to go to the liver. Good. 
good spleen the doctor is now percussing the bladder okay let's go to auscultate now the aorta renal arteries liver brood and bowel sounds okay good so that all feels normal okay so that will complete the examination so for completion i'd like to do, examine the external genitalia the hernial orifices do a pr exam and do some bedside tests such as a urine dipstick and a temperature okay so fluid thrill if there was ascites you'd expect fluid there so you'd place a hand here and you just do a gentle and you're looking to see the fluid thrill 